Hey guys, back at it. A few clouds. We'll hope we avoid the rain. Well, maybe not. Really need the rain. But uh, we're going to see if we can get a few hours in here before the rain hits. Stick with me. All right. Got a bank here with a little broken up concrete on it, some lily pads on it. We're going to start out with a worm. Got a 10 inch worm. Fishing it on a quarter ounce swim bait hook. I like a little bit of a, I like my weight on the worm and I just prefer it with a swim bait hook versus the Texas rig or something like that. But today, before the day's done, we may well be doing some Texas rig too. Got a spot I want to try with a worm and I'm going to try it differently. And that would be with the Texas rig. But for now, let's go down along this concrete. See if we can find a fish or two here on the edge of this stuff. Well, nothing so far along this bank. You know, I fished the same bank a few days ago. And, uh, Never had a bite. Went the whole length, never got a bite. Came back about two and a half hours later through the exact same lure and picked up three fish. I don't know. Were they not there the first time? Or were they just not hungry the first time? And Well, it hit the second time. Who knows? on him. Look at that. Turn my 10 inch worm into a 5 inch worm just like that. All right that pan that didn't work. Lost me a fish and that was it so let's move on. All right guys last spot didn't pan out. Lost a worm that was it. Gonna move up here just a little bit not too far. Around the corner got another rocky bank. We're gonna give that one a try. I got him, but whoo, doggies! Look at there, guys! Holy cow, a huge one! <laughs> I tell you, them little sunfish they ain't afraid of nothing. Sorry about the train. Come here, you little guy. Yeah, try to get the hook out. Oh, there he goes. Get off the side. There we go. Like I said, those little sunfish aren't afraid of anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, I always say I wish sunfish would get up there about 18 inches long. They'd be a blast to catch. As aggressive as they are. There he goes. Let's see if that one's a little bigger. Oh, yeah, there we go. Ain't a sunfish this time. This one's a little bigger. And there he goes. Yeah. And he took off the tail of my craw. All right. I'm going to stop off here. We got it. A little bit of a hump up here, it's not much. It's going to go from about 12 feet down to about 9. Or I should say it's going to go from 12 feet up to about 9, shouldn't I? 
So it's not big, but it's it's just something a little different. And that's what you're usually looking for is something just a little bit different that might attract a fish. And that's what we did here. He ain't very big. He's not very big at all, but hey, you're a fish. I got your both hooks in the mouth. Didn't we? Huh? There we go. Took him on my green tomato that I like. All right. Well, we were here a couple hours ago. Caught a sunfish. Lost a bass. So let's see what happens now. We're going to throw the same thing with you the last time we was here. Got a different trailer on it though. Ran out of the other trailer. Got him. Oh, there we go. That's a decent fish. Let's see if we can keep that one on, huh? Yeah, that's decent. Come here, buddy. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll get him. There we got him. I got him eventually. Got to get up now. Whew, there we go. Let's get out of here, ways. There we go, guys. Now, that's a decent fish. That is a decent fish. Yeah, I got you right there. Let's turn it around. There we go. On that, we're going to get a weight and a measurement on that one. Well, there we go, guys. Uh, just over three and a half pounds and 20 inches long. Not too bad. I'll take that. And hang on, I'll show you what I got him on just a second. All right, back in the water. Thank you. Here's what I took this on. I did a video. I don't know if it's out or it'll be out. We were the boat again a little bit here. This is a jointed head lure, but it had a uh, collar on it. So you got a jointed head with a collar so you could put a skirt on it. Got it with a creature bait on it. I picked those up at Lure Parts Online. About 3 8 ounce. I really like this. It's like fishing a jig, but you're fishing it weedless. Works out good. All right, let's see if we can catch some more. Ooh. Wasn't quite what I wanted, was it? Oh, got him. There he goes. He took it up when it was falling. Well, yeah, you took that when it was falling down, didn't you? <laughs> All right, I wasn't quite ready for that one. Not as big as the last one fish. We'll take them. Take all we can get. Get that nose, that hook buried back down in there again. All right. We started the day on this rock wall. Never found a fish. But seeing as how we went back to that second rock wall, caught fish the second time around. Oh, guess what? We're back to the first one. Whee. Oh. <laughs> yeah, look at there. Second sunfish of the day. Like I said, I wish they were bigger. The worm is definitely bigger than the fish. Oh well, it was a fish. All right guys, we are headed to the other end. I'm gonna try my home. Let's see if that works. All right, 
at the hump. Been enough watching enough the videos, you know I fished here quite a bit. Water on either side of this hump is usually about 13 feet. Get right up on the hump, it's about eight or nine feet, something like that. But not only do you have a hump where you've got it shallower water, but this happens to be a little narrow spot in the lake. It's wider there, it's wider back there, but it's just kind of a narrow point, kind of pinches in a little. And then you add in the hump on top of it, and it's just, you know, it's just a natural spot for fish. And some days you can come out here, and I've sat here and caught 20 fish, and I've sat here like a day like a day and haven't caught a fish. So just because you find a spot doesn't mean you're going to catch a fish. But it does help to be able to find a spot. Throw on a crank to start with. Got a little DT6. Try that. Doesn't take it all the way down. I've got a done some of the eight, ten footers. Get down there 10, 12 feet. There we go. Found one. Yeah, I found you. I found you. The hump paid off with the fish. <laughs> Well, he ain't caught in the inside of the mouth, though. He took a swipe at it. That's one of those situations where he didn't get it, but I got him. All right. It's fish. Let's see if we... Maybe there's more out here yet. Well, guys, she was a little tough sled today. Did manage to pick up one nice 20-inch one. When you catch one like that, I guess you really don't worry too much about the, the rest of the numbers on the rest of them. Just be happy with the big one you got. Hey, I'm heading home. Thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.